All right, let's take a look at another example where, in fact, we have this sort of inclusive probability at hand. So of 250 people surveyed, 133 people were female, 64 people were over 59 years old, and 28 of the people over 59 years old were male. Here's the question for us to think about. What is the probability that a person was female or was over 59 years old? Now, in fact, this is an inclusive probability. And one way to actually figure out the answer is to draw a little picture of the scenario. Pictures are always helpful if you can draw them. Now, here we can actually draw a picture. This is actually referred to as a Venn diagram, so I guess maybe it's more of a diagram than a picture. But in fact, we can draw it nonetheless. And I want to show you how we could actually draw the picture and use the picture to help us figure out what's going on. So let me just produce, first of all, a picture of the total population. So the total population in this survey I'm going to put as a big rectangle. So imagine the people sort of sitting inside here. And what we're going to see here is that there are uh, two a natural break between these uh, people. There are the females and the males. So let's put the break, let's say, right here. So how many females are there? So these are the females. These are the males. Well, I know that um, 133 of them were female. That means there's 133 in here. We know there's a total of 250 people surveyed, which means that if we take 250 and subtract off 133, we see how many males there were. So we can immediately see how many males there are. There are in here, right here, a total of um, 117. Okay, now we're told that some people were over 59 and some were not. Now that means there's going to be some people that are female that are over 59 and some people that are male that are over 59. So there's going to be this overlapping piece, which I'm going to draw right here on the border in here. So inside the circle are all the over 59-year-olds. And on this side are the 59-year-old females. And on this side are the 59-year-old males. And what do we know? We know that uh, 28 of the 59-year-olds were males. That means that right in this region right here, we have 28. Well, can we figure out how many females there are that are over 59? Absolutely, because we know there's a total of 64 people that are over 59. 28 of them were male. That means if we take 64 and subtract 28, so we see 36, that must be the total number of females that are actually over 59. So this is the Venn diagram for this particular scenario. Now we can actually uh, let this sort of fade into the background a little bit. We've used all the information from there that we can. And let's now face the question. So the question now is, what is the probability that a person was female or was over 59? Well, let's figure out what region that's going to be. Well, you're female. That means you could be anywhere in here. So any female is eligible, all 133 of them. But in addition, you could be 59. Well, those 36 females that are, are already, we know to be 59, they're already in the mix because we're already actually including them in the 133. But there are a couple of males that we can now include. How many? Well, actually 28 of them. So the total now sample size for success is going to be this green region. You see it? So anyone in that mix is going to actually be allowed to be successful. That's the question. What's the probability that you're in this mix? Notice that there is this overlap because the 36 women are 59, so they satisfy this category, and they're also female, so they're in both. But if we just now take a look at this, we can see exactly how many people are in the green region. There's 133 right in the rectangular region plus another 28. So what's the probability? Total number of success is going to be 133 plus the 28 males that are over 59 divided by the total number of people, which is 250. And so we see 161 over 250. And that represents the probability that a person was female or the person was over 59 years old. Very, very cool.